Praise the Lord everyone Today also I would like to speak on lockdown is high time for earnest prayer Lockdown is high time for earnest prayer Acts chapter 12 records three scenes First death of James second imprisonment and rescue of Peter and third death of Herod The context of this chapter clearly tells about the severe outrage against the Christianity in first century. As the result of this outrage, James was put to death and Peter was in prison. It was the time where God's people couldn't move out with the freedom. In the words of present context, they were locked down in their homes. So basically, we have two lockdowns here first peter locked up in prison and second the church is locked up in house what excites me in this period of lockdown is church's response the bible says so peter was kept in prison but the earnest prayer for him was made to god by church in midst of lockdown the church was engaged in earnest prayer This prayer was not of casual form for the word of describing the prayer of church is used earlier explain about the prayer of Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane This gives us the clear picture of the burden and seriousness the church carried during their lockdown season As the effect of that prayer Peter was rescued shortly and joined church At present We have come to a season where due to COVID-19 most of the countries are on lockdown including our countries. The world is constantly experiencing deadly threat. The hope of humanity seems disappearing. So in this critical times as a church how are we utilizing our lockdown period? Are we engaged in earnest prayer? Has my prayer life changed during this lockdown season a responsible christian should ponder on these questions church it's high time to shift our prayer life from casual to a burden filled prayer it's the intense prayer that can turn this wounded world into a healthy world it's your burden in prayer that can heal the nations In fact God himself honors the prayer that are offered with the earnestness and sincere burden So this is my encouragement to all my church members and church Let's follow the model of early church and touch the world through our intense and burden filled prayer May I repeat let's follow the model of early church and touch the world through our intense and burden filled prayers may god bless you may god use you for his kingdom with our prayerful life amen